guys i think this set is going to have an absolute awful release which is a real real shame in the last 12 to 24 hours bushy road have announced the allocations for this set and the orders and the figure going around is there's a 90 percent cut on supply on orders um yeah this is this is just awful that apparently there is a second wave coming uh at, towards the end of april so you know two to three weeks after the first release i personally think waves are terrible for the second hand market it just creates such a high inflated price for the initial release for people who just don't care and will just pay through the roof to get the product to be the first people with it to be the first people opening it um but realistically, they could just delay this. They could just say, right, we've got enough of wave coming in a few weeks. Let's just delay the release until we have more supply. They're, they're literally only giving out that they've only printed and managed to supply 10 percent of the orders. And yeah, this just isn't going to go out at all. If we look here, this is eBay sold. This is like the last place people go to pick up Weisschwarz product. And this is before the, these allocation cuts i don't even think any of these on here are even going to get fulfilled these most likely all of these will be cancelled all of these orders will be refunded because whoever is selling these pre-orders won't be getting them anymore at all it's just extremely unlikely to happen with a 90 percent cut but with that said even prior to that cut we've got boxes here selling on pre-order for a hundred pound now you compare this to Pixar when that came out, had sort of the usual price of like 40, maybe 50 pounds per box. That's kind of average for a Japanese set. Um, and then eventually once the set became popular, because originally I don't think it had that many orders, um, people didn't expect it to go as well as it did and, and be as collectible as it was. So obviously once that came out, it then gradually ended up around the 100, 120 per box kind of price once the supply had run out, but the demand was still there. This is prior to the allocation cut. This is prior to release and it's already at £100. So now what happens when all of these get cancelled? It's, I, I, it's just going to be a terrible second hand market. And yeah do not agree with doing waves that are literally weeks apart could just be delayed so there's more supply for the initial release now i personally don't even think both waves are going to be enough they've had months and months for these pre-orders and to print this set and they've only managed to meet 10 percent of the orders now personally i think if i had to make a ballpark figure i i feel like there probably would have been about 10 times the amount of pre-orders for Disney than there were for sets like Pixar and things like that. So as a company, as a business, to try to increase your print by 10 times the amount of a usual set, it's kind of physically impossible. And obviously that is why they've done like these short waves just to try and get as much product out there. But yeah, realistically, I can't see both of these waves being anywhere near enough than what the pre-orders were for this set and it's just going to be a very very tough second-hand market if you want to open this set and try and collect these cars which is really really unfortunate i was very excited for this set I, I was getting a case i'm now not getting a case because it doesn't exist and i really won't be surprised if these boxes start selling anywhere between two to four maybe even 500 per box like it just because of how low the supply is and how high the demand is there will just be people that are willing to throw money to be the first to open it the first to collect it you know the first to even just stream it and do openings and, and things like that so yeah, I, I wouldn't be surprised if you see those figures. It's really unfortunate because the set did look amazing and it's just such a shame they haven't managed to meet the demand. They, they've they literally met 10% of the current demand and typically with Weiss Wars, the demand can very easily increase after release because a lot of people don't realise things are print to pre-order and, you know, they just until the set's out and people start putting videos of openings and the cards online that always generates more interest in the set if it's 
a, a really nice looking collectible set. So uh, yeah, I, I think this is going to be a horrendous release, which is really, really unfortunate if you were hoping to collect this. I will be doing more videos to follow up when the set's released. We will be looking at prices and, and what the hell is going on with it because despite how bad this is, it is interesting for me to follow this and see how print supply you know demand um all affects the prices and yeah so if you're looking to get this set i i wish you luck I, it's going to be very very tough um and yeah prices are going to be very expensive but also don't forget that it's very likely they will reprint this the only problem with that is Lorcana, that disney's english tcg set is coming out in august Normally, why Schwarz reprints takes months and months. Like, Pixar is literally only just being reprinted now. And that was, what, six, maybe eight months ago. So it's going to be really, really tough. I wish you the best of luck. You know, if you are happy waiting, try to wait. Try not to just FOMO and spend ridiculous amounts of money. But if you're happy to spend that money, and there will be people that are, then that is obviously completely up to you. So, as always, thanks for watching and good luck.